Good afternoon or good evening. Um, this, this is Sean Gregory from Time, and we are live at Kelly's Sports Pub in uh, Lower Manhattan with Jerry Doyle, the owner. And Kelly's is the first Cubs-themed uh, pub in New York City. And Jerry, just tell us a little bit about how you became a Cubs fan and how long you've had this place and how you kind of um, caught Cubs fever. As you see, Jerry has the Cubs flag um, hung around the bar. Well, about 10 years ago, uh, I went to visit a friend of mine in uh, Chicago, and we he brought me to uh, Wrigley Field. And if the truth be known, I didn't know a lot about baseball then. I don't profess to know a lot about it now, but I do enjoy it. And the thing about the Cubs is I love the fans, their passion for the game. And it reminded me a lot of the Irish people because they're very passionate about something they enjoy. So I went to two or three games. And then when I came back to New York, because we had other teams here in uh, the bar for other sports, I decided baseball, it's got to be the Cubs, man, because they're the best. And uh, so Kelly Sports Bar now is... Uh, well, it was the first Cubs bar. Uh, there was no one else had them, but now there's a few more. A few more people on the bandwagon. Exactly. They're they're a little bit late, but we had them when the Cubs were not as brilliant as they are now. Yeah. So we're here, obviously, the day after the biggest win in Cubs history, the first World Series since 1908. Um, before I ask you about what last night was like and felt like, did you ever think um, the Cubs would ever a make the World Series and less to win the World Series? I did for one simple reason. They're a huge club and they have a lot of money behind them. And that's the way sports works, man. You know what I mean? So, uh, the, the re as I said, the reason I picked the Cubs to be the bar here, or like for us to have the Cubs, was because the Red Sox were in a bar in New York, the Dodgers were in a bar in New York, the Cardinals were, and nobody wanted the Cubs. We picked them, we loved them, and we stuck with them, you know? So, uh, money money's what matters. They, uh, and they got the best management team. And look at all the young prospects they have. Or they, but they're not prospects anymore. But they sit there still coming up through the ranks. This could be a, a, a few good falls in a row for you guys, uh, for the team and for your bar. Well, that's what we're hoping. <laughs> <laughs> so, business has obviously been pretty good. Um, last night just describe the scene and what it was like did you get to, first of all did you get to watch the game and pay attention to what was actually going on in the game well this is the thing uh i came in here yesterday about three o'clock and the bartender was here and we were already starting to fill up and at about six or seven i was at the door to stop you know to you know look after the crowd and at about seven thirty or eight o'clock I couldn't even get a beer at my own bar. So I, I left, I walked down the street, and because I was sending people to another bar, because we couldn't fit them in, and I, that's where I watched the game. That's where, that's where you watched it all unfold. Yeah, yes, exactly. I got, and I got a free, free beer. <laughs> yeah. not, not bad. And so that game, um, when Rajay Davis hit the game tying home run to make it 6 6, uh, the Cubs were up 6 3. Chapman, Chapman comes in. He's, are you thinking when Chapman comes in, because Joe Madden had said he regretted using him the night before in game six, you never see Chapman get hit. When you see that game-tying home run as a Cubs fan not used to winning, was there this sense of dread, uh-oh, here we go again? Uh, there's certain language I can't use, <laughs> but anyway. Uh, You're not the only one. <laughs> no, I mean... I'd say that was probably the best baseball game I've ever seen. And that's just what I think, right? I'm not, uh, don't know enough about it. Whenever Joe Madden does something, I think he's doing the right thing. I'm not going to second guess him. Now, as you've seen, we were watching MLB earlier. I think Joe Madden had a beer in a shot last night. He was wearing those dark glasses. So, you he know. deserved it. He was off the hook. Yes, he, yes. He was off the clock as yeah, well, right, you know. Right, right, right. <laughs> no, Madden, as you know, he's a smart guy. But last night he made some decisions that were kind of easy to second guess in hindsight. But you're saying that you trust the guy. He's won, you know, games all year. And um, you thought they were going to pull it out. Who's going to question the master? You know what I mean? Like, he's, he, everything he's done is right. Um 
Maybe he's a gambler. Maybe he takes a bit of a shot. But he knows the, probably the game as well, if not better than most people. So he knows what he's doing. That's the bottom line. You know what I mean? So he says, this is what we're doing, this is what we're doing. It might be a bit dodgy. It might be, it might be you know, whatever. But it'll, it'll still work, you know. So he's taking a gamble. So as a bar owner, when you saw that rain delay um, before the 10th inning, are you hoping, hey, I hope it kind of lasts a little bit so people can keep drinking? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I would have liked to have seen it go 15 innings, you know. <laughs> but unfortunately, it didn't, you know. But at, at the end of the day, the right result came in, right. you know. Your coworker showed us some some of the video of some of the celebrating last night. Were you in this bar when the f final out was made, or were you still no, you couldn't get in? It. Yeah, I, c I couldn't get in the door of your own place. Yes, uh, there was like forty people outside looking in, and I couldn't get in. So uh, I watched it down the street. You know? And so, how are Cubs fans kind of different, in, in, in than maybe Yankee fans or Red Sox fans or some global soccer fans? I know you got a lot of soccer going on in this bar. Like, what's what are some characteristics of Cubs fans? One, I'd say they're very warm. I mean, they're very uh, they're good fun. They uh, they like to drink, which is a good thing in a bar, you know. Um, but the passion that they have for their club. I would say it's unprecedented in definitely in baseball. Uh, Soccer is different, so you know it's. But the the passion they have for their club is unbelievable. That's uh, that's what I would say. It's all about passion. And was it hard for you to pick up baseball because it's probably the most kind of intricate, um, complicated American sport I would think for an outsider. Or did you pick it up pretty fast? Um, it definitely was the hardest of the sports for me to pick up. Uh, my first, like a, me personally, would be football, hockey, then baseball. Um, but there's nothing like going to a, a baseball game. I mean, it's a pretty incredible experience. Uh, I've been to soccer games, I've been to rugby games, I've been to everything. But baseball has its own unique vibe about it or whatever, you know. It's, it's, it's just what it is, you know. And you went to when you first went to Wrigley Field. You know, a lot of Cubs fans talk about how they fall in love as soon as they get there. I assume you had a similar feeling of what kind of struck you about that place that made it special. Yes, I mean Wrigley Field is amazing, uh, but I don't like old style beer. Don't like old style beer? Uh, no, no. I mean, I <laughs> uh, I drink something else, but it's uh, it's definitely um, no. It's a fabulous ballpark. You know, the whole neighborhood is just great. Uh, but that's where first boy baseball game I was ever at and it'll always resonate with me as in baseball um, I think it's a great uh, it's a great park it's everything you know right, it's kind of in the neighborhood um, yes. there's there's tons of bars around it's kind of a, it's kind of like a, a church in the you know like an institution it's like uh, the soccer uh, the soccer grounds in England just these houses around them. Same thing in Wrigleyville, you know. You go to Yankee Stadium, kind of the same, but who would want to live there, you know? <laughs> it's, it's City Field is kind of out in Queens yeah, by City, Chop. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. But uh, no, uh, Wrigley Field is um, definitely unique. It's, it's the best place I've ever been there, for baseball anyway. So the folks who come in here, are they generally from Chicago, or do, is, are the Cubs a team that pick up fans from all over the place? I would say... 75 to 80 percent are people from Chicago, and the mid, and then the rest is mostly from the Midwest. But you also have people in New York that are Cubs fans, you know. Um, but most of them would be Chicago people, but also Midwest. You know? Have you learned the, like the lore of the team, like the Billy Goat thing? Uh, yeah, 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 what do you yeah, think yeah. of? Where you think they were cursed? <laughs> Yeah, well, I cut Billy Goat's head off. <laughs> I got, I got, I got uh, T-shirts on my website for that. But oh, anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, that's just bad management. Yeah. Now they got good management. So. so, what do you think of Theo Epstein, the president of the Cubs who yeah, built this yeah, team? Yeah, general. Uh, well, he's he's done it for two of them now: Red Sox and Cubs. Uh, he's definitely the Hall of Famer, uh, a genius. And good luck to him. And he said he was going on a bender. 
So I hope he enjoys it. <laughs> he did say he was going on a bender, and it kind of showed last yeah, night yeah. a little bit. Um, so what kind of Cubs? Yeah, I see you've got some some Cubs um, signs and paraphernalia around. Yeah. You've got um, – Down in, uh, in our basement, we have a, a like a wall dedicated for uh, pictures of Cubs guys, uh, players, and just normal stuff. But, you know, the, the, the most important thing is – Last night here, we had a um, special guy in a corner. We had Jesus. <laughs> Jesus is a Cubs fan. Jesus is a Cubs fan, eh? And there he is, bringing, uh, bringing some, some, some blessings. Yeah. Very cool. And uh, is the passion, do you get business even during the summer or folks in here watching games? Is it like a nightly thing? Uh, we definitely get... At the start of the season, we're very busy. July, August slows down. Night time, you might get five or six people in watching a game. At the weekend, you always get a lot more. Uh, like if they're playing a Saturday game or something like that, you get 40, 50 people. But because this is for the, for the people, the Chicago Cubs people in New York, this is the closest they can get to be at home. You know what I mean? It's, um, Why do you say that? Because we, we do it with the same sort of passion that they have in Chicago. Um, and they have an affiliation to it. You know, once they get here, they, they know this is where they want to be and they come back. So, uh, come the postseason, late September, October, or September, October, we're mobbed. But, um, we get people all the time. Do you make it back to Ireland once in a while? And if you do, do they know the Cubs? Do you kind of talk about them? Are they are they known over there? I go every couple of years, but I I just sent um, some texts to people because uh, we were in the New York Post and there was an article on it, and I, I sent it all in text to all the people I know in Ireland, you know. But they do know about the Cubs, but it's probably from um, Back to the Future. <laughs> and back to the future, I think they predicted the Cubs would win the World Series in 2015, yeah. so they were only a year off. Yeah, they screwed up. <laughs> they screwed up. Um, who's your favorite um, Cubs player, present or past? Well, I would say Chris Bryant, but then again, um, if I knew more about baseball, I'd probably say Charlie Eubanks, but <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Yeah, But... Uh, I mean, look, it's very hard to pick anyone from the Cubs. Ben Zobras, uh, Rizzo, uh, uh, what, Bryant, Chris Bryant. Uh, shit, no, I can't think of any more of the guys. But do you know what I mean? They, they, Addison they, Russell, all the young Baez. They have, yeah, they've got so many guys there. It's very hard to pick one. Yeah. But Chris Bryant, because he got so much publicity when he was first coming up out of the minors, they wouldn't let him up because they were trying to hold on to him for the next year in the contract, um, which is brilliant by the Cubs, of course, you know, but that's money, you know. Um, but he, he, he's, he's an incredible kid, you know. And, you know, baseball's a national pastime here. Do, 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 you, do you think there's a reason for that, you know, kind of observing it and getting to know? Why do you think it's uniquely American? Well, this is the country it started in. Um, when you get outside the big cities, if you go to, I don't know, or whatever, uh, Iowa, they, they don't have the same thing like New York or Chicago or Boston or Philly or whatever. So it's an easy game to play in many ways. Not easy as in the skill set, but all, all you need is a ball and a bat, you know. So um, it's a cheap play a game it's a, an enjoyable way for a family or group of friends to have an afternoon off to spend time without spending a lot of money you know and that's probably why it became such a big pastime for americans are you going to get back to chicago anytime soon i was only there last year and uh i think we're going back my, me and my wife uh, i think we're going back um it won't be christmas but maybe i'm not going when it's cold uh, I, maybe I maybe I go for uh, opening day in Wrigleyville. Right. That's right. what I'd like to so check it out. Yeah, right. you know, the team's been good to you, and you think the team is built to last. Um, they're they're going to they have young players, and 
um, you think that the, the management has been smart about building for the future, right? Absolutely. I mean, they, they've got a really young team. I would say for the next eight to ten years, they're going to be either in the World Series or so close to it that you might as well be in it. You know what I mean? Like they, they, and that's down to management. Um, and I would say that goes before TOF team. You know, but he he's nurtured it on since. Do you like the Yankees at all? No. Mets? A little. A little bit. Yeah. Why not the Yankees? Too much about money, but then again, we know who owns the Cubs. <laughs> yeah. You know, <laughs> so. Winning once they put more money yeah, yeah, into it, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, the Yankees is in. Um, it's not, I have no time for them really. I'm, it's too expensive. Right. It's a rip off, you know. Right. So. And is your loyal, is there a core loyal crew that comes here of Cubs fans that are here most of the time, kind of like the cheer, you know, like kind of the regulars? And how happy were they and how happy were you for them that their dreams come true? Oh, man, we got like maybe 15 or 20 guys that are diehards. And uh, now I wasn't here, but I was told by the guys, the bartenders, they said they were crying and everyone was so happy. We, we, we gave out champagne for when they won, you know, um, a toast the team, toast the guys. It was a pretty special feeling here, you know. Um, it's as close as you can get to being in Wrigley Field in a different city. In a different place, right, 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 right. Yeah, it, it's, we, we, we get a special atmosphere here. Do you have any Chicago beers? Goose Island. Yeah, Goose Island, that's right, Goose Island, right. What's what's wrong with old style? So now old style Budweiser took over sponsor. I think three years ago, once the Ricketts came in, because they wanted to make money off it. But but the old style beer was a. It's interesting. The old style beer was old. You know, kind of the traditionalists didn't want to see the act go. They didn't want to see the signs up in Wrigley um, because it blocked views and kept home run balls from going. But now you talk to those folks and they say they understand because in today's baseball world you have to make money however you can, and that's kind of what they did. Yeah, well that's understandable. Um, well, we couldn't, we can't get old style because of New York State liquor laws. I tried to get it, but it's to do with taxes and all that sort of stuff. Even if I was imported from Illinois, it, it'd be a problem because of New York State liquor authority would. Their tax, whatever, you know, so it's, can't do it. That's the bottom line, you know, you know, it's the way it is. We're, we're good? We're good? All right, so any final, thanks for this conversation. Um, anything we didn't ask, should have asked, that you want to say about Cubs and the team and the bar and sports fandom or whatever? Uh, no, I think we pretty much covered it all, but uh, if you're in New York, you want to watch sports? It's the place to be. And, and let me just ask one more thing, um, because you mentioned Jesus. Is sports like, especially for Cubs fan, is it like kind of that they're that passionate about it? Without a doubt, I be, actually I believe anybody who's a sports fan is more passionate about their team than their religion. Some, some priests might not want to hear that. Well, probably true. Yeah, well, <laughs> they should start playing football or something. <laughs> But that's that's the way it is, you know. You ever see anybody pray? When they pray, it's for a score, whatever game it might be. But are they dying? Are they looking for money? But it's more for a score. Oh, please God, let this go in, you know. Or let's let's get this go out, you know. Let's this be a home run. But you get them to go into a church, unless unless it's a big screen TV, you know. It's, not quite so easy, you know. One of the fans, I went to Wrigley for the home games of the World Series, and one of the fans I met has been going to Wrigley for 63 years, and a nice guy, 82 years old. I, sp I spoke to him after the game last night. I called him up, and he said he was kneeling kneeling the last three, four innings, like praying, praying, you know, just what you were saying. He was, like, kneeling on his rug in his, in his home. It means yeah. more to him. Yeah. You know, he's hoping that if he dies, he, well, or when he dies, he's going to go to heaven, but he'd still prefer the Cubs to win the World Series. I'll take hell if the Cubs win the World Series, right. you know. And do you th find like a lot of, you know, it's a gener what's, what's most, what resonates about this story, it's about families, right? I wish my dad was here to see it. I wish my grandfather was. I'm so glad my son is here with me. I mean, did you get, have you gotten a lot of that throughout this playoffs? People, 
talking about their families, how they didn't get to see this, they wouldn't believe they made the World Series, all that kind of stuff? Yeah, because it's such a, a story that 108 years, or, or, you know what I mean? Like, they won not, they didn't win. And then eventually, when it looks like they're going to do it, and then they do it, everything, oh my God, I wish my father was here. I wish I, wish, I, wish I was with Joey. Joey might be in, in Chicago, but he's in New York. But they bled and cried about this there for years, and this is what they this is what they want, you know. Uh, but the, the, the unbelievable, you know, the, like the, the, the passion of the people, and that's what you're saying about their friends or their father or their family or whatever. You can't help but get wrapped into it. I'm I'm from I'm here in New York. You're here in New York, and we we you kind of kind of help but admire it and kind. Of people in Chicago that you don't really even know. Yes, of course, of course. Um, well, family, baseball, beer, religion, I think we covered it all. Joining us, Jerry, thanks a lot. Congratulations, and hopefully if the Theo Epstein does his job, you'll have many lucrative fall Octobers going forward. By the way, if anybody sees Joe Madden, or somebody like him, he was in here one night, he was a bit drunk, he had a shot and a beer, and he never... Well, if it was him or someone else... Send them to us. Right. Well, no, wait a sec. We got to investigate this. Were the Cubs in town during this incident? Uh, I think they were playing the Mets. All right. Well, Joe, you owe Jerry here. Come on. You're you're, you're going to be doing all right here, man. Thanks a lot. All right. Thanks, guys.